Good morning, Greg. Good morning, mate. Coming up on today's episode, Greg, we yep. have got fun festive facts. Yeah. Or festive fun facts. Right. We have got classic Christmas commercials. Yes. And a new section called TV Gold. Ooh! We're not live this week, are we? Are we? F- So that was fun going live last week, wasn't it? Oh. So much fun. We're going to do it again, aren't we? Oh. After Christmas at some point. Ooh. We had fun, didn't we? I loved it, yeah. So, sorry, I'm just going to interrupt the uh, programme here because that's you. Uh, my wife. Uh, Alright, Pen. Alright, Pen. Uh, has given us two presents and she's asked us to open them live. On, well, not live because we're not live, but it's live recorded. So, so I'm, I'm wondering. To Jason, I love you. No. Doesn't say, does it? Doesn't, doesn't say, oh, does it? Merry Christmas. Mine, mine does says that. Oh. Not to Jason. Though. Um, so we, I, we've got to open them at the same time. Yeah, it's, I mean it's lovely. So thank you very much, Thanks, the wife. Pen. Oh, pen. Um, but I'm a bit concerned that this might not make the actual final cut because oh. it could be something <laughs> we'll terrible. We'll find out, shall we? Let's do it. It's not even Christmas yet. Exciting, though, isn't it? Oh, oh! That, that paper doesn't rip. Greg! Oh! Well, I don't know what to say. Well, she's nailed that, hasn't she? Yes. She's got you a Goonies and me a Thundercat. Well, I, I mean, I don't know what to say. Phenomenal. Thank you ever so much. Thanks, Pen. Right, Pen. So now, Greg, we can have our tea and our 80s mugs. Look at that. I'll tell you Sloth what. Sloth loves chunk. I think mine's a bit better than yours. So. Thanks. Oh, it's got Thundercat in there as well. Brilliant. Thanks, Pen. Cheers, Pen. Sam. Sam. New section. Yeah. TV. Gold. <laughs> Smell what you? I'm just laughing at the way you say it, Jase. Can you do it again? Gold. TV. The TV variety. Gold. TV. Gold. Tell me more about this TV gold. Well, you already know because you've chosen a clip, Greg. But, uh, for the next few... Oh, glitter everywhere. Sorry, go on. For the next few weeks, we're going to make a selection each of a couple of programmes that bring back great memories for us, Greg. Uh, I believe you have made a choice this week. Yes. Can you please share your choice with us, Greg? And then I will play a clip. <coughs> well, my choice, Jason, of... Because uh, I, I thought that it was going to be called Forgotten TV Gold, but you've just called it TV Gold. And obviously you're the editor, producer... Everything. Yeah. Um, head of shows of, of everything. So, so, I've chosen, Jason, a classic, which is called Finders Keepers. Not the Finders Keepers with uh, Neil Buchanan. The Neil Buchanan. Well, what an amazing show that was. I think it was better than Funhouse. Now, that's going to really Ooh, cut controversial. the... Yeah, that's going to cut it there. But I think it was better than Funhouse. See, for me, it was an early 90s programme. So I was like 14 or 15. So probably didn't watch it as much as I watched Funhouse, which was on a few years earlier. But I have to agree with you in that it's a classic format. I just loved it. For those of you who don't remember... It was set in a house, massive big set with massive. lots of rooms in, and basically the teams, the kids, had to find things in each room after they were given a clue. I don't know what I'm telling them, I might as well just show them. Show them? Here's a clip. Stock up with them and beef up your cooking. Stock up with them. Stock cubes. She thinks it's stock cubes, what do you reckon? Yeah, yeah we've we'll got red balloons right now, so she's stuck in! We're out of time. Look, you're going to kick yourself. Let's have a look at it. Stock up with them. Speak up your cooking. Yes, it is, of course, a stock you. Finders keepers, Greg. That's Brilliant. A, that's a good choice. Thanks, mate. It's a classic. I bet loads of people are going, oh, yeah, I love that show. Well, mine goes back a few years before that. Because you're older than me. Although I think it was still on into the 90s. 20 years. It gets more every week. <laughs> um, it was hosted by somebody who, at the time... I wasn't all that keen on, but since I've grown up a lot, I think that he's a genius. 
hosted by Bob Moncarris, Greg. Oh, the genius. Yeah. We've always said that, haven't we? You either loved him or you hated him. Yeah. There's no one who thought he was all right. And I don't think he really appealed to you as a kid, but as you got older, you can really appreciate how clever he was. I've met him. Have you? Hmm? This is news, Greg. You don't know that? No. I've met him, yeah. Where? My brother went on the Opportunity Knocks. Oh. And I got to meet him. Wow. And he came over and shook my hand. I was about six. Funny, I remember that clearly as well. Well, of course you do. You met Bob Monkhouse. Anyway. Yeah, but he wasn't like Lino, was he? Because that's all I cared about at the time. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't David Hassel. Oh, I did that exactly. So my program, so, so, so. my program, Greg, is Bob's Full House. Yeah! The quiz show based on Bingo. My mum would love that. Yeah. Yeah, I love uh, that show. I loved it and love it even more now. And there are lots of full episodes on YouTube if you want to watch a few. Um, and here's a clip of Bob's Full House for you. And it's Kath. £21. You just won this round of the game! TV. There's the uh, instant camera set up. There's the beautiful lounger. Beautiful girl. You can't have her. You wouldn't want to take her home except as a friend. <laughs> what would you like to do? I'll have the TV set, Bob. The please. TV set for all the you. <laughs> we want a winner now, and the winner who gets every single number of the bingo card lit will have a choice of the superabundance of saleables. And for the full house, Bob, a mini stack hi fi system. His and hers sheepskin coats. Oh, one of the very latest gas cookers. Yeah, that's good. So you know you've met Bob Monkhouse when you're Bob. with your brother. Yeah. Well, I've met your brother. Yeah. So does that mean that I've met Bob Monkhouse as well? No. Oh. Anyway, that was Bob's Full House, a classic. Was. Good choice, Jace. Next week... Two more classic shows, Greg. You have to start thinking about your clip now. I like what we've done there. There's one for the younger generation and one for the slightly older generation there. See what we've done there? Yeah, see what we've done. It's good, isn't it? I like that section, Jay. Back to normal this week. Memorise this one, Jason. Mesmerised. No, no, memorised. Well, who was that? Who was that man? Who was that man, Jason? Who was that man on? Uh, it'll be right on the, on, on the night, Jason. Who was it? Who was it? It was um, Dennis Norden. Yeah, he had a clipboard. He never used it. Just get on with it, Greg. Jason, why was the Christmas turkey in a pop band? I don't know why was the Christmas turkey in a pop band. Because he was the only one with drumsticks. I mean, not only is it not funny, but it's not true, is it? What about the chicken? <laughs> so, this is Sam. a commercial break with a difference, Greg. Don't ever steal my or thunder again in jokes, if you don't mind. Thanks very much. I was just improvising. Yeah, it's not good enough. Um, we're talking about classic Christmas advertisements. Yes, we are, aren't we? And I am starting with... The man in the mirror. No, I'm not. I'm starting with the most classic of Christmas adverts. I don't think Greg. you can be, because I am. No, I am. No, but I've got the the, the most classic no, Christmas. No, mine is. No, I'm sorry. Now, I think we probably mentioned this advert last year, but it would not be Christmas, an 80s Christmas, without this advert. Bisto. All I'm going to say to you, Greg, is there's millions, says Geoffrey. There's a magic. Well done, mate. Thanks, it's classic, isn't it? The yeah. classic of classics. I think it's up there. I don't think it's the ultimate classic. I think it is up there, at the top. Well, can I suggest one that is probably level with that one, then? You can have a go. What would you think if I said, holidays are coming, Jason?
I mean, I cannot argue with you. It is a classic of TV Christmas adverts. But I just don't think you can beat the Toys R Us advert. I think the Toys R Us meant more as kids, didn't it? Yeah. Whereas the... the and it was just a Coca-Cola, wasn't it? So I don't know if the Coca-Cola advert was on in the 80s. If it was, it was late 80s. Into the 90s. Holidays are coming. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I, I actually agree with you. I think the Toys R Us one, because you knew that... I know, it's not right, is it? I, that was a real Christmas advert, wasn't it? Especially, yeah. like I said, being a kid, it was, the, it was the ultimate. Do you know what is really strange about that? I don't think my parents ever went to Toys R Us once. No, in actual fact, I went there a few times and it was rubbish. I did, I thought it was rubbish. There's more stuff in other shops. Was there millions? Of thousands. Of toys all under one roof? It's called... Toys R Us. Toys R Us. Jurassic Farts. What number are we on, Greg? Six. Six. Here we go. What is it? Uh, the edge. Do you want me to? Yeah. Could you? It's 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 the Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx, Greg. The world had seen flying animals before, insects, and great airborne reptiles, but this was something new. This was a bird. Archaeopteryx may have been the first of its kind, a feathered farter that soared through the sky with the help of flapping wings. It sounds phenomenal. Um, it means ancient wing. It lived in Europe, so it could well have roamed right here where this shed is. Studio! Sorry, studio. And it lived in the late Jurassic period, approximately 150 million years ago. 150 million years ago? Let's hear how the Archaeopteryx broke wind. <laughs> okay, Jace, what you just said, here it is. <laughs> That's a great ending. Should we do it again? Yeah. Well, do you want me to paint the picture again? Yes, please. Right, I think he's flying and he's been tangled up in some telephone wire, because telephone wire was about there. He hit fight, the floor. He fight, no, he, yeah, he hits the floor, jumps up, flies away, and as he jumps up, he does that fart. Because you know when some people get up, they go, oh, and they do that noise. So I think that's what happened. So get that picture in your head, and here he is. <laughs> Nice picture, Greg. Thanks, mate. Jurassic Fox. I've got to say. Fox. Fox. <laughs> Jurassic Farts. Oh, your, yeah. uh, your picture painting is really bringing these farts alive for me. Do you think so? Yeah. Thanks, mate. It's all right. You're very welcome. Jurassic Farts. <laughs> Remember the live show last week, Greg? Remember we went live last week? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we did something on the live show that I quite enjoyed. The TV listings thing where we compared oh. TV listings from this year to yesteryear. Yes, yes, I like that as well. Uh, this little ensemble here, Greg, is from Saturday the uh, 17th of December 1988. Well, it just so happens, Jason, that I've got here what's on this Saturday, the 17th of December 2016. Oh, that's amazing. Well, it's today. Well, it's not today. We're filming it, but it is. Should we just... Shh. Yeah. Um, so anyway. I've got what's on BBC One all day, and you've got what's on was on then. Yes, it's confusing, isn't it? So 8:15, Greg, in 1988, Saturday starts here with Peter Simon introducing a bumper package of Saturday morning entertainment that started with Banana Man. Oh, what? Went into corners, whatever that was, then into Chuckle Vision. To me. To you. They were on the Royal Variety. Why? I don't know. Um, then, at 9 o'clock of course, it was going live with Philip Schofield and Sarah Green, featuring music from Bross, <gasps> Growing Pain's Help from Philip Hodson, remember that? The no. Agony Uncle? No. Cartoon Adventures with Droids and the Muppet Babies. Is everything alright in here? Yes, Nanny. Uh, Thrills and Spills with Trevor and Simon, Football Action with Gary Lineker, Video Vote, Soapbox, Your Jokes and a chance to join in this week's press conference with Edwina Curry. Trevor and Simon, what happens to them? They were going to be huge, weren't Swing they? Swing your pants, they're still about. No, but they were, didn't they sell out or something and go somewhere else no. for money at the time? I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Would you like to know what was on this Saturday, 
coming the 17th, 2016. Do you mean today? Yeah. Yeah. Breakfast. Just breakfast? Breakfast. Right. Till what time do you want till? Uh, well, at 12.15. Oh, I've got before that. Oh. Saturday Kitchen Live. What's, that, what's on after that? James Martin, cooking at home for Christmas. So there's two cooking programmes on, one after the other? Yeah. You know what they say? Too many cooks make programmes for the BBC. Into football focus. Oh, well, I've got Grandstand at 12.15. That's all right. Featuring Rugby League. Yeah. Go on, then. Oh, do you want me now? Well, I'm at 2.15 Get there. Get this, though. That was on. Grandstand was on from quarter past 12 till 5 o'clock on a Saturday. Yeah, but didn't they used to show actual football matches then? Yeah, probably. They were not allowed to now because of Sky and all that. Um, well, I've got 2.15. Uh, you're getting interested in there, Jason. Bargain hunt. One for the kids. Into... Escape to the country. Woo! What a phenomenal day. Oh, we haven't finished yet. I've got into final score. Uh, into, of course, Pointless again. And Strictly. Alright. Well, is... I've got The Flying Doctors at quarter past five on December the 17th, 1988. Yeah, brilliant. Love that. Followed at six o'clock by the Noel Edmonds Saturday Roadshow. Oh, that was brilliant. Special guest star, Les Dennis. Oh. Also featuring Patrick Moore, Clarence and Joy Pickles, uh, Edmunds tore himself free from the clutches of the evil three-headed aardvark from the planet Magnuson and sprang onto this trusty space Skoda. He kicked the cell starter which immediately kicked him back. Then with the huge turbines throbbing, Edmunds thrust the vehicle up through the something or other back towards the space station. What is that about? What are you talking about? That's what it says there. Anyway, what's that about? Oh, oh, that's a coincidence. Isn't it? See what he did there, because full house. Because uh, we've got Michael McIntyre's big show. Oh, great! Isn't this the same as last week? Probably. And then it goes into match of the day. Well, we've got Bob's full house. Then into the NFL show, which I'm sure loads of people love. And what? Hello, hello. Oh, hey. Hey. It, that's uh, Hearts of Hearts of Gold. I don't remember that. Esther Ranson. The Poseidon Adventure, what a film, yeah. starring Gene Hackman. Yeah. The best, going to news. The best uh, Lex Luthor of all time. Yeah. Uh, then that's when the international show jumping was on. My mum would have watched that. She loved show jumping. I remember watching it when I was a kid. Introduced by David Vine. Uh, then there was another film, The Mountain Men with Charlton Heston, and then Weather, and then it would have closed down. Closed down. National Anthem, BBC Spinning Globe. Yeah. Well, that's it. I mean, I, so what would you rather have... Watch then. Well, I'd rather watch 1988 schedule. What about you? I don't know. Escape to the country. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought it could be so good. Believe it or not, Greg, this is the end of today's episode. Don't ever do that again. What? You know what? It's nearly Christmas, you know. I know. Are we having a big gap this year? No. Oh, so we're not having no. a break? No. So we're going straight through to New Year? Yeah. Really? Yes. Have we spoke to my manager? Don't care. So, if you've got anything... Zap. To, Zap. If you've got anything to send us, please send it to our web address, email address, rather, which is tnt at topgoo.com. That's tertnut at tertgoo.com. Doesn't have to be in capital. No, it doesn't. It's just the way that Greg has drawn it. Yes. Um, send us your pictures. Send us anything you'd like to send us to that email address. Not anything. <clears throat> well, don't think. Any I mean, if they send anything, it could be anything, couldn't it? It's all right. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and we may feature them on the show coming up in the new year. In the meantime, we'll see you again next Saturday when it will really be almost Christmas, Greg. Exciting. Grow up, Jason. You're 53. <laughs>